Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to connect GoDaddy domain to Adobe portfolio. Let's begin. Make sure you are logged into your Adobe portfolio account. And if you haven't done so, this is the perfect time for you to create your account. And once you have done that, you can basically go to uh, the uh, website builder. Now, don't worry if you're just starting from scratch or if you have already a live uh, website or a domain because from your account here, just hover down to uh, the left panel of your dashboard. Under Essential, there's like th four options for you to choose from. Now, it depends on the uh, interface you are using, but my version has pages, integrations, themes, and settings. Now, I need you to click on settings first. Now, when you click settings, obviously you will be given a new window, which has the option for you to edit your subdomain or add your custom domain below. Now, from here, because um, my options are limited, it's grayed out. So that means I cannot custom my domain name or I can't um, link my Adobe portfolio basically to GoDaddy because it's not live yet and I haven't had a chance to purchase a domain. So if you have th that option, basically you can just click connect your domain that's easy because as you can see here we need to upgrade your um subscription because i'm using a um, free trial right now but in order to access custom domains and publisher site and connect these adobe portfolio website or domain to godaddy basically the purchase of domain names is fulfilled by namecheap or a third-party provider which is which in this case is going to be GoDaddy. And you can basically uh, type your site, site subdomain here. Say, for example, um, Andy's Guide, myportfolio.com. And you may only change your subdomain five times. And once you have that option in your interface, click on done. That's one way. All right. Now, the uh, second option is via GoDaddy itself. Now, go log into your GoDaddy account and hover down to uh, the uh, domains um, option or settings or section. Now, from here, all we're going to do is change the uh, CNAME records, okay? Now, it means you need to go to uh, the uh, domains and then click on DNS settings. And once you've done that, click on that. And then if you're still following, if you have that um, record section, you need to put the IP address that Adobe Portfolio has given you because if you were able to do so, you would need to put that in here and manually change it, okay? And after doing all of that uh, easy steps, and if you haven't done so, just click on publish now, both on Adobe Portfolio or here in GoDaddy.com. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.